In the bustling city of Tokyo, amidst the towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, lived an elderly man known simply as Mr. Yakuza. Despite his intimidating name, Mr. Yakuza was a kind-hearted soul who had spent much of his life helping others in need. One fateful day, Mr. Yakuza fell seriously ill and found himself confined to a hospital bed. As he lay there, drifting in and out of consciousness, he was visited by a doctor whose face seemed vaguely familiar. How are you, Mr. Yakuza? Are you feeling any better? The doctor inquired with genuine concern. Mr. Yakuza managed a weak nod. Thank you, sir. I'm feeling much better now. Later that evening, the doctor returned to Mr. Yakuza's bedside, a thoughtful expression on his face. Mr. Yakuza, do you remember me? he asked softly. But Mr. Yakuza shook his head, his memory failing him. The doctor's voice took on a nostalgic tone as he began to recount his childhood. I grew up in a small village, struggling to make ends meet. My mother couldn't afford to feed me, and many days I went to school hungry. But you, Mr. Yakuza, were working as a watchman at the nearby factory. You noticed my plight and selflessly shared your meals with me, day after day. Mr. Yakuza's eyes widened as the memories flooded back to him, and he nodded in recognition. The doctor continued, his voice filled with gratitude. Your kindness sustained me through those difficult times. It fueled my determination to succeed, and now, I am a doctor, able to help others in need, just as you once helped me. Tears welled up in Mr. Yakuza's eyes as he listened to the doctor's heartfelt words. He realized that the simple act of kindness he had shown to a young boy in need had come full circle, bringing him solace and care in his time of illness. With a grateful smile, Mr. Yakuza and the doctor shared a moment of understanding and connection, united by the power of compassion and the belief that kindness, no matter how small, can make a difference in the lives of others. And as Mr. Yakuza drifted off to sleep that night, he held on to the doctor's words, knowing that his kindness would indeed help him one day, just as it had helped the young boy who grew up to become his healer.